Hello friends, today we're planning out the week of November 14th through the 20th. I am using this Glam Planner Apple Orchard Kit. This was the October 2020 mystery kit. And Elle, the shop owner, paired it with sparkly gold. Nope, it's just gold hollow, it's not sparkly. And I decided to run with that and also pick up some gold hollow from Alicia Craft. She came out with an apple pie themed collection and I just thought it would be perfect with this kit. The second this kit came in the mail, I knew I just needed it. Um, some housekeeping things. If this video pauses abruptly, it's because I am sick. I'm sure if you are returning to my channel, you can hear it in my voice. I am recording this voiceover on Saturday, November 26th. I have been sick since Wednesday and um, just want to get this voiceover filmed before we're too far out from the week. So I apologize with that. I do have a cough and I do have the sniffles. So there is that. But I was just really excited to plan out this week because I thought like I had really good foil to go with this kit and everything. And this week was kind of a mess. So. I guess to get into some of the things that happened um, in the beginning of the week I was still kind of recovering from my surgery from the previous week um, not feeling 100% back to normal yet but I had a stitch that was bugging me and just still healing luckily that stitch did come out um, in the beginning half of the week it was the most annoying painful part of the entire procedure honestly so that coming out was a big part and as i mentioned previously this surgery kind of flared my depression a bit so you're going to see me marking that a lot this week which has really been struggling with my mental health feeling really lonely this time of year kind of missing having a special someone i don't know missing cuddles missing human companionship that kind of stuff been watching a lot of disney movies as well kind of what i do when i'm in a rut they kind of cheer me up this was also the week of the big Taylor Swift Ticketmaster debacle. I did not manage to get tickets. I was trying to help my friend Jessica get some, and it was just a hot mess express. Um, I think this was the week that videos returned to my YouTube channel after having a bit of a break because I had to wait for some stickers to come in which is super exciting, kind of getting back to normal. It's how I feel like I've fallen off. Once you get behind, it's like even with posting like one or two videos a week, it's still going to take me like a while to catch up because I have some other fun videos I'm throwing in there as surprises for you all. Also, I've gotten a lot of questions on if I'm going to do and participate in Plan Miss this year. And as much as I would love to participate in Plan Miss, because I've loved doing it in the past, I did it last year, and I've done it, I think, three years total of my planning life. I just don't feel like I have it in me to do it this year. Between working retail during the holidays and starting off um, and just being sick, I just feel like I don't have a ton of video ideas right now to make up 25 videos because I've already done my flip throughs, like caught up on my planner quarterly flip throughs. And I feel like I did a ton of the really unique videos last year. And I don't think anything has really changed as far as how I edit um, my videos, how I pull character stickers, like it's all the same. So, even like redoing those videos would be kind of pointless because it would all be, it would be the same video. So the only, like there are a few things that I do differently, like my scripts now and just a spoiler alert. I think actually that video might go live before this one. If it doesn't, spoiler alert, I have a new script video coming. If it's already up, I will link it so you can watch it because I have changed that. And that's probably the biggest thing I've changed. But one video doesn't warrant doing 25 videos for Plan Miss. So, yeah, um, I apologize for not doing it this year. But maybe next year I will feel more 
adjusted. It was just, November's just been not the best month for me. Between the surgery and now being sick, it just has really thrown me, I don't want to say into tailspin, but like I just feel very out of touch with myself, out of touch with life. I just feel like I've been stuck in bed for most of this month because I have been and it's been terrible. Um, so something else that happened this week at work, we got to have our holiday shop event where it's just all employees and we get to extend our discount out to our family and friends and buy stuff for them for the holidays. So that was nice because I got a good portion of my shopping done. Um, also this week we had like at work, like the office, like the show, the office, they do the office Olympics and we did something similar to that, but more pertaining, you know, to what we do. And that was super fun. My dad and I hung up my Christmas lights this week and, um, also Bob Cap, Capet, I don't even know how you say his name left and Bob Iger came back to Disney which is super excited and we're already seeing some of the changes I wanted to see like they're altering the park reservation system and I just hope this means good things for a company that I love so so much and then the other thing I wanted to talk about that happened this week that was really really weird is that my ex randomly texted me. I woke up to it. It wasn't an, even a text, it was a Snapchat. He sent me a song that he thought I'd like, and he wasn't wrong. I do like this song, I already knew it. Um, it's called Ghost in My Home by Point North, and it just messed with my head, because some of the, like the opening lyric is, I felt the presence of a person that I love once, and now the only way to get out is to move on. And now I think to myself, what have I begun? And I just, and there's a lot more lyrics in the song, but it's just messed with my head all week. I've been having weird dreams. We broke up almost two years ago and we haven't talked since I told him he was a piece of shiz in February and that I hated him pretty much. So this is super out of the blue and has just messed with my emotions in more ways than I thought it would. And no, I didn't respond or anything, but like, I just don't understand. I just, I want to understand, but I just don't. And now it has me like, kind of freaking out. Like, I don't know. It's just weird and I can't get out of my head about it so yeah that's kind of like this week in a nutshell I also love when glam planner includes foil date um, overlays I just think it adds something at the top and you know the more more foil the better in my opinion and like I said this foil from Alicia craft is just perfect she's be quickly becoming one of my favorite foil shops I feel like I mainly buy foil from her and Plana Hannah. And I guess SPC too. I'm sorry. I'm burpy. I'm sniffly. I'm I just I'm a mess. Um my right ear did pop today though. It's been bothering me, so I'm hoping it'll like continue to drain and pop again. If you have any tips to help with making your ears unclog when you're sick, I would greatly appreciate them. Um, what else? Also, I'm just curious, because this, this, like, kit has a lot of apple pie stuff in it. What is your favorite pie? Is it apple pie? Mine, I, mine's a tie between pumpkin pie and key lime pie. It just depends on the time of year, but I really, I guess I didn't realize that neither of those have, like, actual chunks of, like, fruit or anything in them. They're, like, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. They're more moussey in the middle. But those are my two favorites. What is your favorite? Leave it in the comments down below. I would love to know. And if while you're down there, if you wanted to become one of my friends here on my channel, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to hit a thousand um, 
friends, subscribers here on my channel this year, and it's going to be really close to the finish. So anything like a comment or a thumbs up really does help. And of course, sharing with your planner friends. And I appreciate it more than any of you all know. Um, but yeah, let's get into the day by day. That November script is from Planna Hannah, by the way. And I do PR for Hannah. You can use my code ROSIE15 to save 15% and get my freebie or put my name in the notes if Hannah's having a sale to still get my freebie. But the first thing I'm marking is that my plan with me went live on Monday and I'm just using this Glam Planner Girl holding a, bu a bucket of apples because I thought it matched this kit. And that was for my Halloween Horror Nights plan with me. Then I did my workout this day, which I was approved to start working out. Um, I started organizing some more of my character stickers while watching Frozen 2. I put in that... Um, I just lost my train of thought. Anyways, that Frozen sticker is Anna, and it's from Scribble Prints Co. I do PR for SPC. You can use my code ROSIE10 to save 10% off. Anyways, below that, I marked that I had a stitch that was annoying me to death. I believe that sticker is from Chasing Shells. If I forget to say where something is from and you're curious, please feel free to ask down below. Then I marked that I went to bed early with a sticker from Carly Plans. The first thing on Tuesday, I put in that we had our holiday shot morning at work, and it was just so much fun. Then I did a lot of planning, still playing catch up from being behind. I took a nap this day. Again, I was still healing from my surgery. I did my workout. I put in that I tried to help Jessica with Taylor Swift tickets. And I just really hate Ticketmaster and Live Nation. How that monopoly was ever able to form is beyond me. So honestly, if this puts an end to it, I'll be ecstatic. Um, and then this night, I got my stitch out. Um, I cut it out. I don't recommend doing that, but it came out. Then on Wednesday, I watched The Lion King, the live action one. Um, while planning, I've kind of put things in a, like, planning more towards the bottom because I did some more at night as well while watching the Golden Girls. But anyways, this day was the first day I really made my bed since my surgery besides the day I washed my sheets. Then I did some tidying up around my house. Like I said, I did some planning and watched the Golden Girls. And then this was when my depression really started to hit again. So I just used these little paper and milk marus to mark that all week long. Here's a close up on my first half of the week so far. It is so shiny, so sparkly. This spread is just perfect for November. I am absolutely loving how it is coming out. Ugh, look at this shine. I just can't stop appreciating it. Moving in to Thursday, I used another Glam Planner Girl to mark that my video went live. Also, you're going to see when I started filming here, I have a nail missing. I lost one, so boo. Um, so just try not to look at it. Anyways, my November kit lineup went live, and then I did my workout, which was shoulders this day. Then I marked that I was feeling depressed. I watched some of the Golden Girls this day kind of loving binging that right now it is hilarious then i did some more planning because i was really into planning and catching up this week it was all i wanted to do and then this night i decided to go ahead and prep all of my hello fresh meals that had come for the week so i could just eat them i was going to have like kind of a busier weekend and it just made things easier Moving into Friday, Friday morning I did my makeup before work, so I just used a Carly Plans Heart Compact for that. Then I went to work, and it was my first day back after my surgery, and it felt really good to be back at work. Um, I think it really has been helping my mental health kind of improve, so then I went tanning. Then when I got home, I did my leg day, which if you know me, I hate leg day, so... I'm really proud of myself for doing it after work. For dinner, I got Taco Bell, and this night I watched a movie called Game Night. It was really funny. I enjoyed it a little bit, like, unrealistic, but still funny. 
Then moving into Saturday, I got a song from my ex, like I mentioned. Then I just used this little dog to mark that my dad and Tito came over. My dad helped me put up my Christmas lights this day and that little like Christmas light light that is missing, you will see it when I put my scripts in, is from Carly Plans. I requested them because of this and I just, it's perfect. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Carly. Then I marked that I was depressed because theme of the week, like I mentioned, this day the final season of Dead to Me premiered, so of course I had to watch it. Who else watched Dead to Me? What did you think? What are your thoughts on the ending? No spoilers for me, but it wasn't my favorite, but I understood it. And I'm kind of sad that it's over. I felt like it was such a short show because like, I mean, there was only three seasons, and they were shorter episodes, but they came out so far apart. It was just, I don't know, but I'm sad it's over. Then this day, I also planned moving into Sunday, November 20th. The first thing I did was wash my sheets and my towels. Then I did my makeup and went to work. After work, I went and ate and treated myself to some Shake Shack. Um, cause I didn't want to go like all the way home, but I had some time to kill before the work Olympics started. So I marked that we did that. It was super fun. I got to win some store credit and then I just used this Scribble Prince Co. Castle to mark that paycheck left and Iger returned, which I still can't get over. It's like a Thanksgiving miracle. If you're a Disney fan, I'm sure you were really excited about that news as well. Um, yeah, I found out at like 1030 at night on Sunday and I just could not get over it. Here I am putting in the scripts that I made myself. The font I downloaded off of defont.com and it is called, hang on, I just didn't get it up in time. Orchard Song. If you are curious, and I just thought it went with this spread. It kind of reminded me of like a logo on like some applesauce or something. I don't know. I tried to match my fonts to my spread. Some spreads are way more effective than others. Also props to me. I don't know how I've managed to make it through this voiceover this long without needing to cough, but I'm currently suppressing one back. I have like a minute and 30 seconds left and I don't want to be defeated. I'm like so close to the end. Um, but that is going to wrap up this plan with me. So if you haven't already, I would really greatly appreciate it. If you took two seconds out of your day and give this video a thumbs up while you're down there, please subscribe. If you haven't already, it'll be the big red button and ring the bell so you're notified when I have new videos. Remember, if you are struggling, you are not alone. I am struggling too. My DMs are on Instagram are open for you if you need to talk. It is Rosie Plans, just like it is here. I hope you all have a good day, afternoon, evening, week, wherever in the world you are when you are watching this. You deserve it. You are worthy. You are amazing. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I'm not sure what that will be. But either way, I'm excited and I'll see you there. Bye, friends.